As you've been designing for the web, you've probably heard people use terms like websites and web apps or web applications interchangeably. So let's unpack what the, those mean and what the differences are. So building on what we've already looked at, we have this idea of a really static experience. And when we say website, we're typically referring to these static sort of experiences. It's a little tricky because it's also sort of an umbrella term for anything that we're accessing through the web. And it's the default that everybody goes for. But for the most part, when we're saying something like website, we're referring to something like a list apart, where it's a really static experience here. We're just consuming the information and we can see text and images and videos maybe, but it's not really dynamic. It's not something that we're super interacting with and doing a lot of things with. It's more of like a consumption sort of experience versus, let's look at Figma now, something like a web application is something that's really interactive, that we're doing a lot of activity with to accomplish some sort of goal or, or some sort of activity. So Figma, great example. If you've ever used something like Salesforce or, or even like a Google Doc or Notion, something that you are really interacting with, you're putting a lot of input in, you're typing a lot, you're clicking around all over the place, those really interactive experiences are typically referred to as web applications. Again, people will still refer to them as websites because that's sort of the catch-all term for anything that we're accessing through the web, but really that's a, that's a web application. And so when you're talking to developers and other technical people on new projects, it can be really helpful at the beginning of a conversation to say, wait, are we talking about a website or are we talking about a web application? It might seem like semantics, but it's actually going to steer the design conversation and the technical conversation in a much more productive way. Because if you're thinking you're working on a website, but you're really working on a web application, the experience and the technical implementation can be wildly different. And so it's really helpful just up front at the beginning to say, okay, how are we thinking about this? Is it going to be static? Is it going to be a website? Is it going to be interactive? Are we going to have a lot of application kind of um, experiences can really help set the right tone for the, the rest of the conversation and the, the relationship.